How's it going, everyone? Doogie Manhammer here, and I just wanted to say, <laughs> my God, that direct. Oh, if you haven't seen my short, it basically just, you know, sums up my entire thought about it. Just check it out. It, <laughs> Yeah, but if you want the longer, more explained version of everything, th this is your, your stop here. Um, I just, I'm so upset I couldn't react to this. I might I, I got a new job I have to be on zoom like remote whatever at all times so I couldn't do a reaction because then they'd see me on the camera going like for like half the meeting and they'd be like are you okay man what are you doing <laughs> but recording this during my lunch so I can try and post this out there because I'm just like oh I need to talk about it I need to do something about it but okay 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 enough of that enough of that I just I, I literally had no expectations going into this direct. I was hoping for Metroid Prime 4, honestly. That was, like, the one thing I was really hedging my bets for. Just because it was, like, you know, this no mention of the successor. And I'm like, they still want to put this out on the regular Switch. So they're going to mention it. So the regular, you know. So they don't, people who own a Switch don't feel gypped since this was announced way back in 2017. But other than that, people are like, you know, Mario Party sounds like a lock. And I'm like, sure, that makes sense. And people are just like, Fire Emblem, you know, remake. And I'm just like, yeah, that's been wanted and rumored for a while. So maybe, you know, always hoping for Kid Icarus. I still am. Maybe one of these days. I don't know. But yeah, I'd, I hadn't, I couldn't tell you. I genuinely couldn't tell you what was going to happen in this direct. And it was a blowout, man. This direct was crazy. When I tell, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna play it. Stop loading. When I tell you, after this whole like splash screen ended, and I came to this, right, and I was like, a Mario game? What kind of Mario game? My jaw, on the floor, literally just. I swear, dude, this was the this would have been the perfect reaction direct for literally everybody that reacts to these things. Oh my god, dude. The return of Mario and Luigi? You gotta be kidding, man. After Alpha Dream, the original, you know, studio that made these games went bankrupt and just closed down, shut down forever. Like, I didn't think this series would ever see the light of day other than, like, you know, Superstar Saga HD remake, remaster, whatever, just because, like, you know, that's a previous game. This is a brand new from the ground up game. We have no idea who the developers are. At least right now while I'm like recording this, like, no clue. No idea who's making this, but God, it looks so good. So faithful to the art that's been made for these games, the cover arts and the instruction manual, character designs, like it is, oh, it is peak. This is peak. And I cannot wait for this game to come out. This is like, even with everything else that's happening later in this direct that is also just like A1 tier 1, I, I can't express how happy I am to see this series alive and we're getting a brand new entry in it. We've had Super Mario RPG, Thousand Year Door remake, like the Mario RPGs are thriving and if this is just like what's to come, like if we get a new Paper Mario that takes on more like a Thousand Year Door, we get another Mario and Luigi like, you know, four or five years from now after this, like... We're eating. We are eating, dude. I just, I can't. I was so hyped seeing Superstar Saga whenever they announced the Game Boy Advance NSO. Seeing a fully fledged brand new game for the Switch, it looks so good. I can't. I, I'm i gushing. I can't. This game. This series. I. Let's move on to the next thing. Let's move on to the list. I'm like losing. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. I can't even, man. This is so, this alone makes this an A plus direct. Like, not even kidding you. If they showed literal Dookie the rest of this direct and was just like farming Sims all the way through, I still would have been like, damn, this was a good direct because they had Mario and Luigi. This is crazy. I I still can't believe what I'm seeing, man. This is the best thing ever uh let's see i'm just gonna skim through what i thought was really cool and hype and like noteworthy nes championship edition they showed off cool features especially like the on my online ghost races i think that's gonna be pretty sweet a fairy tale i don't care about my friend's really excited about fantasia and this was an apple arcade exclusive game um that he said he played through and he really liked it and he's really happy it's coming to switch because it has cool different like rpg mechanics and everything 
and uh, he just said it was really fun. So I'm looking forward that you know that this even has like a different way of people accessing it and playing it. Just getting it into the hands of more people is fantastic. So I'm hoping Sonic Dream Team makes that jump eventually. Here's the here's the hope. And... Yeah, this looks like a cool game, cool classic RPG. Nintendo Switch Sports is still alive, man. I can't believe they just do basketball. This is literally just like eventually gonna be a Wii Sports Resort at this rate. Just bring back sword fighting and we're or no, they already have sword fighting. The one where you like fight a hundred people up Woo Island, bring that back and we're good. We're solid. This is another game that people are calling out, specifically in like my comments about in the short two. Um, this game looks incredible. Like, at first, I thought this was Metroid. Like, honestly, I thought it was going to be, like, another 2D Metroid or something. But no, this game looks great. This game looks gorgeous. People are also, like, uh, Roger's base was like, this is a Silk Song. I mean, <laughs> it moves and floats around like it is. It could be, like, a Metroidvania-esque game or just, like, a, you know, platformer. But it, it looks fantastic. The art style is gorgeous. The animation, top-notch. I can't wait to see more about this game. This game looks incredible. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, and the sh movement that's happening whenever they get going. Yeah, this looks great. Oh, yeah. Looks cool. It looks great. It looks awesome. This, I thought, was a wild thing. That they're uh, HD porting Donkey Kong Country Returns. Like, Donkey Kong has literally had no brand new representation in the Switch era. And I think that's absolutely insane. We've just gotten ports of a Wii game and a Wii U game. And that's all Donkey Kong has gotten on this platform. I mean, yeah, there's, like, Mario vs. Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong's and all, like, the sports games and Mario parties and whatever. But, I mean, like, just Donkey Kong by himself has not had a brand new game since Tropical Freeze. And that is crazy to me that they're just porting this and not having a, a brand new game. Now, yeah, the rumors or speculation or desires that people have is like you know donkey kong's gonna be on the the successor the new switch or whatever probably yeah i hope so donkey kong has just been like living off his last two games the last freaking like 10 years so yeah it's cool more people can play this game especially because it was only on 3ds and wii it doesn't have an hd version so it's cool to spruce it up and have they brought along the 3ds levels too which is cool uh but yeah Cool for Donkey Kong fans, I guess. It just sucks it's not a brand new game. And it's so January? Like, that's crazy. Why not sooner? I don't know. I don't know. It's just pretty wild. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. It looks fantastic, man. I've never played... I don't... I've played the demo of Dragon Quest 11, and I really want to actually sit down and play that game one day. Um, but I've never played Dragon Quest. But the, I love HD 2D games. They... They have a hold on me. They look beautiful. They look gorgeous. And I'm excited. I want to play this so bad. It's a classic. And with the announcement of 1 and 2 coming out next year too, like that's just a whole trilogy of games. Like I've heard that the story isn't like that, you know, cohesive or like that important to play it all in a row or whatever, but like it just has tie-ins to like, you know, it, it goes together. But I'm excited. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is sprite work at its finest, man. This is this is beautiful. I'm excited that it's finally coming out. And then the NSO stuff. So finally getting four swords, a version of four swords on the system is great. The multiplayer madness, multiplayer fun. And then Zero Mission is also a good get, just a remake of, you know, original Metroid. And then getting mature N64 games. Like, there's no way they make a singular app on NSO that's mature N64 games and only have those two games. Perfect Dark and Turok. Perfect Dark's a cool get. I've never played it, but that, that's a cool get. I really hope this means, like, Conker's Bad for a Day will eventually get onto this. That would be pretty freaking sweet. That's just funny seeing Mature 17 Plus on a, on a Switch icon. It's pretty great. Oh, and I know. I, I really want to put the clip of Max Dude on here losing his mind i saw this and my first thought was just like oh he's gone he's dead there's no way he would have thought this was like possible i don't believe there was tool in ground farming take you for a ride what the f seven arcade games featuring marvel and capcom characters are fighting their way onto nintendo switch as one collection what flash in x-men versus street fighter ah, what's up I personally have never played these games. I'm not a huge fighting game person. I 
don't pay that much attention to that stuff other than whatever Max Dude has to say. But I know this is a big deal. Getting just the licensing Marvel in general, just being able to be like, hey, yeah, throw these out there as a collection is pretty nuts. And it really gives a lot of people hope that Marvel vs. Capcom and just Marvel tie-ins with these fighting games in general is not completely out of the realm of possibility anymore because after marvel versus capcom infinite i know that was looking pretty murky and a lot of people are just like ah, i don't know if that has that series has a future anymore there's there's hope there's a glimmer of hope for those who really like this so i'm happy for that i'm hope happy for that it's cool oh and the new mario party dude oh i'm so happy they continued the super mario party line because i one of my favorite things about it was just like the plethora of characters you could play as like <laughs> Playing as a boo, playing as a shy guy, it's sweet. And the new maps look exciting, like a mall and then a racetrack. Like those look sweet. And then the two combo or the the two old maps that they remastered from Mario Party One and Two, like uh, Western Land. You 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 betcha I'm gonna have a a hoot nanny. You damn straight I'm having a hoot nanny. Yeah, this game looks great. Twenty player online mode is pretty freaking crazy too. It looks fun. Yeah, I'm just excited. I love Mario Party. I'll buy whatever new Mario Party comes out. It's always a great time. And it looks like they really learned from Super Mario Party and Mario Party Superstar. So hopefully this is like the definitive one for Switch. Oh, oh, let me, don't even get me started on this. So I thought I was losing my mind on Mario and Luigi. I didn't even realize that this was Zelda at first when they just showed Leak, you know, peeking around the corner at the enemies. And I was just like, oh my god, like, why is this in a Link, Link's Awakening art style? Like, I thought that was only going to be a art style one-off for that game. But all the attention they were giving to Zelda, I was just like, this something weird's going to happen. Seeing this, I was just like, Zelda's playable, and look at this. Having Zelda playable for the first time in a mainline entry, get out of here this is your swan song year for the switch and you're you're pulling this off right now you'd think they'd want to save this for the next system and be like yeah play a zelda for the first time ever no and they're like buy a switch right now <laughs> before the new system comes out we're trying to freaking sell some more we have so much in the lot back here they're killing it absolutely killing it like i don't Anuma, nintendo just absolutely murdering the game right now having a brand new 2d zelda 2 immediately like barely a year after tears of the kingdom came out like this is nuts i know grezzo's been working on stuff i'm this is definitely grezzo like they've been they've been working on this since link's awakening came out and then yeah that was like what 2019 i believe still though still i can't believe it i, I can't believe we're at this point in the series where we can actually play a Zelda now. Yeah, we played a Zelda in the Musou game. Shut up, but like, I still, I'm like flabbergasted. Bro is flabbergasted. And it looks so cool, the new mechanic of just copying, but this is literally like Minecraft for Zelda. <laughs> it's Dragon Quest Builders, like whatever. It's crazy. She can just copy whatever and she's just like, eh, hey, like, up here. Let me platform off of you, table. <laughs> Let me use this tree to block this wind gust. Enemy, fight for me crazy absolutely nuts i'm just so happy i am so happy this is actually a reality i've wanted a lone zelda game for so long now i've been one of the freaking i remember in high school this was literally like what 2012 where i was just like telling my friends like i really want like a zelda and sheet game or like i want a zelda game where she plays by herself and you got to use her like you know her wisdom make it more puzzle oriented or like just in general a slower pace kind of game maybe or just like switch it between Zelda and Sheik and like have Zelda be more puzzle focused and Sheik more combat focused like whatever like this is this is amazing I'm so like I'm so I'm gonna be like how I was with Mario and Luigi like I'm just I'm so excited I'm so happy this was the coolest I can't I literally can't I can't and then also the new switch light is pretty sweet it's it's a very simple Zelda design aesthetic but like it's sweet it's super sweet Oh my god, Zelda, dude. Is, I can't, I can't. I gotta go. Keep moving forward, moving forward. Keep going. Oh, man. This LEGO Horizon game also keeps looking cool. I'm excited that that's like a thing. Stray's coming to Switch. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's probably better to play on other systems if you have it available there, but like that's cool to actually like keep getting stuff supported on Switch. 
And possibly even switch to. Oh my god. Dude. Okay. Preface. Preface. I'm prefacing. I. <laughs> this direct is awesome. So I saw Pioro's leaks. Or like, you know, tweets from last night. And one of them was like a bunch of emojis. And I, I have to look back on it and see what he meant by it. Because I don't. I don't know what the heck those emojis still mean. But I saw that he retweeted an Ace Attorney picture, and I was just like, we're getting something Ace Attorney related in the direct. So my thought was just like, oh my god, we're getting a brand new Ace Attorney. Like, oh my god, because we just got Apollo Justice. I'm, so, I'm taking this off. I'm like getting too hyped, getting hot, getting excited, getting bothered. All that riffraff. But yeah, because we got the Apollo Justice trilogy literally in January. February? January? Late January. And I still haven't even finished the first game. I've been playing so many other games, been so busy with work that I haven't even finished them. I've been jumping back. I haven't even started Paper Paper Mario. I'm I have so many games I need to freaking play. I need so many games I need to actually just like stay on track with. Regardless, I thought no way in hell we're getting a brand new cap or Ace Attorney this year. It'll probably be announced and just to like hype people up. It's for next year or something like that. We're getting Miles Edgeworth Investigations in September. Are you flipping kidding me? And we're getting both games. One, Only one game ever made it to the US and got localized. The second game was only in Japan. We are getting both of them. This is a brand... Dude. Ace Attorney is on the swing, man. It's on the comeback. But yeah. Ace Attorney is just on the swing. Ever since Ace Attorney Chronicles came out. Because those were Japan exclusive too. And on the 3DS for years. They were just like, you know, let's let's throw these out there as a collection. Let's see how Ace Attorney does, you know. Maybe if it's popular enough, maybe we'll just like do other stuff with it too. And like it it must have blown expectations out of the water or something to be able to get the Chronicles collection, Apollo collection, and now we're getting the Edgeworth games, like we're gonna get a new Ace Attorney game here pretty soon. Like we have to be. This is crazy. Like I can't believe it. this is so soon. Such a comeback, such a turnaround. I love it i am here for it oh my god yes you can literally play every single ace attorney game that's ever been freaking released other than the uh professor layton versus ace attorney because that's still just on 3ds unfortunately but you could play literally every single just mainline ace attorney game on modern consoles and that's flipping amazing what a time what a time honestly this is fantastic <laughs> this is so cool now we just need project x zone to be on switch and like consoles bring project x zone back please <laughs> yeah this is i haven't even gotten to the craziest part yet uh and this game too that's by the freaking creators of donkin rapper at least the series designer or something because they have such a freaking you look at it and you're just like yeah that's that's, that's a donkin rampa type game or the people that made Doug and Rampa. Yeah, Raincoat was cool. I really enjoyed Raincoat. It had its performance issues, sir. Um, but it was fun. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. So, this game, I mean, looks cool too. It looks fun. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'm a bit more hesitant on this one, just depending on how like the actual battle system gameplay is, because they didn't really show much of it. But, I mean, I, I, I enjoy these games, so I mean, it'll be cool to see what it's like. I'm here for it. I ain't mad about it. Yeah, like, what? Like, how is this working? Like, is this gonna be just, like, a Fire Emblem tactical? Or it's like, what? Like, I just, I just looking at it was like, I don't know what it's going for. But I mean, if it's typical, like, visual novel type stuff, like Danganronpa and how Rain Code was, like, I'm here for it. Yeah, because Rain Code was slightly disappointing in the fact that it seemed like a lot more adventurous and out there than the, like, the trailer showed so i was just like a little eased off by it and i was just like uh like it's samey after a while it was still cool it was still cool and then the closer then the closer cosmic year 20x9 galactic federation research facility yeah of course uh, of course metroid prime 4 man <sighs> man oh man oh man dude i just i can't i knew I, this was the one thing i was like this is for sure gonna be shown like that's that was the one thing i was hedging my bets on like i said i still can't believe they showed it off like that's we're 
We're here. We're here. This and Shin Megami Tensei were the, like, holdouts for the Switch. Just like, this was shown in the, like, you know, Switch presentation before the, it even launched. And then this was one of the, you know, summer games from that first E3 that was announced. And we're here. Shin Megami Tensei is getting its new update DLC, like, re reprint, like, all that stuff that they usually do for their games, I guess. And we're finally getting Metroid Prime 4. I can't believe it. I'm surprised, honestly, that we didn't get 2 and 3 remastered or anything like that. But I'm, I'm still so happy they even showed Prime 4. They're just like, hey, I'm back. I'm not dead. <laughs> and, like, I, I, I don't follow. Like, playing Metroid Prime was the first time I had played Prime in any of these games. So... I don't know how the story's going. Like, apparently, like, I knew the whole thing was, like, Federation Force was freaking, and Hunters was the ones that were promoting Silux, which was that that guy right there, as, like, the new antagonist for Prime 4, and I'm just like, I, I, Silux, I don't know. Not sure about that. But yeah, and, and the release date of just 2025, it's, it's cross-gen. It's coming out on Switch 2 day and day. It's going to be the Breath of the Wild for the new system. It's going to be on both Switch and Switch 2 or whatever. For sure. 100%. But yeah, that's that was the direct, man. God, I really wish I could have caught my reaction to this. Mario and Luigi alone. I know I'm just spouting Mario and Luigi every single second I can, but when I tell you, I was literally... The first, like, five seconds of that trailer just flabbergasted in disbelief. It was nuts. It, it's insane. This direct, kudos, bravo, Nintendo. Really thought this was just going to be like a remaster kind of thing, like Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD, just cash grab rest of the year until the next system gets announced and launched. They weren't joking. They weren't playing. They were not playing in the slightest. You want Mario and Luigi? The series you thought you was dead? Yeah, it's coming out in a few months. Yeah, for sure. You want a Zelda game? New Zelda game? Yeah, for sure. Playable Zelda 2 with that? Say less say less insane <sighs> freaking insane man i can't i can't freaking believe it dragon quest hd2d is coming out soon we're gonna get miles edwards investigations we got marvel just <laughs> nintendo's on top of their game nintendo's just like yeah this is not a dead year or the Switch is alive and kicking, my friend. You thought it was gone? It's not gone. They are not treating this like the freaking 3DS and just letting it die. No, sorry. They're making this thing leave kicking and screaming. God, that's fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about the Nintendo Direct. What were your highlights? What were you hoping was announced? I'm surprised there wasn't a Fire Emblem, to be perfectly honest. But, I mean... If there was a Fire Emblem in this thing, I definitely top ten, top one direct. Like, honestly, like, there's <laughs> insane, insane. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.